evening, a four-month-old is dead, and tonight authorities are taking her father into custody. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We do continue to stay on top of that breaking news we brought you live just under an hour ago. Right now, officials are releasing very little information about this killing, but they say they uh, have found the remains of four-month-old Kaylin Crawford. They were found this afternoon along the Little Miami River near Glendale Milford Road. We brought you as that is breaking news. In fact, on nine on your side, uh, her car seat was also found nearby. Her father, Charles Crawford, is in custody tonight. He first told police his daughter was abducted last night. Claims, though, that police say are just not true. Not on your side. Anchor Julie O'Neill spoke with authorities within the last 30 minutes. She joins us live with brand new information on the discovery. Julie. Absolute heartbreak today. I can tell you the first officer on the scene around 9 o'clock last night stayed on the job until this scene was wrapped just a few minutes ago. He told me he had to see this through. We're talking about an infant child who would have turned four months old today. Little Kaylin Crawford, who lived in Mount Healthy, found dead here along the Little Miami River. Her father had called police last night saying someone abducted her from his car in a Loveland parking lot. Tips led investigators here to Miami Township off Glendale Milford Road, where they indeed found the baby girl's body along with her car seat. Charles Crawford, Caitlin's father, has been arrested and charged with murder. He is currently in the custody of the Claremont County Jail. We can say that the report that Charles Crawford filed indicating that Caitlin had been abducted from the Dollar General was fabricated. We would like to offer our sympathies again to the Caitlin's family. As Savala said, the investigation is ongoing as my office, along with BCI, work toward justice for this helpless and innocent victim. Charles Crawford's father, the grandfather of this baby girl, spoke to me a few hours ago before we learned of these charges. He said that uh, this man, Charles Crawford, loved his daughter, was very involved in her life and that of his other children. So this family clearly is going to be going through a lot tonight and in the coming days, weeks and months. We are going to look more deeply into Charles Crawford's history to see what may have led to this development today. And we'll continue to follow every development in this investigation. Live in Miami Township, I'm Julie O'Neill. We'll send it back to you. It is a